Hey guys, Dwayne here. Welcome back. In my last video, I showed you this knife, this Kershaw Clash that I found on a bike ride, and I told you I would give it to one of you. All you had to do was tell me an entertaining story about how you lost this knife. <laughs> okay? <laughs> on a bridge in Washington State. <clears throat> I gotta tell you, it was really hard to pick a winner. You guys are some great storytellers. We had stories about magic spells, time machines, uh, llamas and flying penguins, zombies, uh, a troll under the bridge, <laughs> supernatural search and rescue, um, fooling around with a girlfriend and the neighbor's wife, uh, Twilight Zone references, uh, losing knives while fishing and swimming. <laughs> Some great, great stories. So thank you to everybody who participated. <clears throat> um, but I only have one knife to give away, so I only could choose one winner. Uh, the winner, I... It, I, it literally took me reading through the stories three times <laughs> before I could... <laughs> pick a winner. <clears throat> um, the one I chose was from XDM51. Uh, his story was about uh, traveling through time, landing in 2020, uh, where people are wearing masks and spraying and cleaning things <laughs> with, with spray bottles. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I picked this one because it is entertaining. It um, it had it was it was amusing. It was funny, and it was uh, current current event references made it stand out. Um, and also, I like the way he tied up the story at the end. Um, uh, I'm not going to tell you the ending in case you want to go back and read it. You should go back and read all these stories. They're really good. Okay, anyway, so XDM51, congratulations, bro. You are the winner. Uh, leave your email address in the comments, and I will contact you uh, and get your information for sending your prize. Uh, prize will be, of course, the Kershaw, the coronavirus Kershaw, and a couple other things I will throw in to make it more fun. Okay, um, and and if you're not comfortable with your email address in a public forum, uh, as soon as I contact you, you can delete it. Okay, is that fair? Okay, uh, that's it for today. Uh, in a future video, I will tell you about a story that I wrote a long time ago and why I wished I hadn't written it. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Have a great day. Peace.